Welcome to another edition of Synagogues of South America. In this episode, we'll take a look at what we can find in Bolivia, Paraguay, Peru, and Suriname. Our first stop is Bolivia, which has at least a couple, if possibly three, Jewish houses of worship. This first one is in the city of Cochabamba, which is in the middle of the country and has more than 600,000 residents. It is situated in an elevation of over 8,300 feet. This first synagogue was difficult to locate. All we had was the approximate intersection of two streets, going back and forth on each one until we found this building with high fence barriers and barbed wire. So we figured it had to be a protected structure. The other one or two synagogues are located in La Paz. They are part of the same organization called the Circulo Israelita de Bolivia. We're not sure if this information is still up to date, but we are told that there are at least 90 families that services are held on Mondays and Thursdays and Friday evenings and Saturday mornings for Shabbat. And the Jewish community of Bolivia is protected by the government. Paraguay has two Jewish houses of worship in Asuncion. That's the capital city of Paraguay, and it has about 525,000 residents. And this place would simply be called the Asuncion Synagogue. We believe its spiritual leader is Rabbi Julian Weinstein. There is also a Beit Chabad in Asuncion, but we are unable to provide its associated facility. And if correct, Rabbi Levi Fagelstock is its director. We're now looking at the local Chabad house in Lima, Peru. Other than the iconic menorah shown here, one would not know that this is a Jewish facility. But security is not as strong as it is in other locations. Rabbi Schneer Zaman Blumenfeld is the director. Here is a picture of inside the sanctuary or base medrash. The other location in Lima, Peru is the Sociedad de Beneficencia Israelita 1870. And this would be the mainstream Jewish organization, which also hosts a conservative or Masorti traditional synagogue. We once again see the security set up with low-grade barriers, preventing motorized vehicles from ramming the building. Otherwise, there is no other evidence that one is looking at a Jewish facility. We believe that the numbers 1870 are in the name because that's the year that the organization was founded. Publicity seems to indicate that there's about 220 families. Activities include ritual, cultural programming, social action, as well as pastoral care. And the rabbi associated with this congregation is Guillermo Bronstein. Suriname is one of the least known countries in South America. It's at the northeast corner between Guiana and French Guiana. Over the years, it has had two congregations, but they merged, and now they are down to one. And this is it, Neve Shalom. The first building was erected by Sfaradim in 1723 and then sold to Ashkenazic Jews in 1735. The Sfaradim then built another structure calling it Sedek Vashalom, but then eventually merged back with the Ashkenazic Jews. The building shown here was completed in 1843. Ironically, it is next door to a mosque. As we said, the Sfaradim built another synagogue building in 1736. We believe that this is the building. When they merged in with Neve Shalom, the building went into disrepair. It was subsequently acquired by a business for its own commercial usage, but before the insides could be torn apart, all of its content was carefully taken apart and shipped to the Israel Museum in Jerusalem, where a facsimile of the interior is permanently on exhibit. This episode is concluded, but we will continue on to take a look at other South American countries that have multiple synagogues. So, hasta la vista, or we'll see you soon.